Hello and welcome to this tutorial from Complete Computer Know-How. This tutorial is hopefully will give you a better understanding of the different versions of Windows 7. The first version we'll be looking at is Windows 7 Starter Edition. Windows 7 Starter Edition is primarily designed for netbooks. As you can see there is no media center or DVD playback. This is mainly because the majority of netbooks do not have a DVD or CD drive. There is also no Windows Aero. This is a graphics package. Netbooks tend to be using lower end graphics so Windows have decided there is no reason to have this within the software. There is also no internet connect sharing. Internet connect sharing is basically a single machine that is connected to the internet and various machines connect through that machine to access the internet. There is also no IIS web server and there is only a 32-bit version with a maximum of 2 gig of RAM. There is no ultimate tech with this version, e.g. domain connections and BitLocker. The next version is Windows 7 Home Basic. This is primarily designed for emerging countries to keep the cost down. It is similar to Windows 7 Starter as there is no DVD playback or Windows Media Center, there is no Windows Aero, no Internet Connect Sharing, no IIS Web Server, no Enterprise Tech. But with this version there is also a 64-bit version with a maximum of 8 gig of RAM. The next version is Windows 7 Home Premium. This is the baseline version. This is the basic that you will probably find if you were to go out and buy a laptop at the moment. There you have DVD playback, you have Windows Aero, you have Internet Connect Sharing and also IIS Web Server. With this version there is still however no ultimate tech as in domain connection, bit locker, app locker and branch cache. There is a 32 and 64 bit version. The 64-bit version has the capability of having up to 16 gig of RAM and also two physical processors. The next version is Windows 7 Professional. It has the same functionality as Home Premium but also has the capabilities of connecting to a Windows domain. A Windows domain basically is a Windows server with a, a number of computers connecting to that so that vast amounts of information can be shared. This also supports remote desktop and also EFS which is encrypting file system. This allows you to give each file its own encryption. There is still no of the ultimate tech with this version as in BitLocker, AppLocker and Branch Cache. There is however a 64-bit version of this operating system with the capability of taking up to 192 gigabytes of RAM. The next version is Windows 7 Ultimate. This is the full version of Windows 7. You even get domain support with this, remote desktop, EFS, BitLocker. BitLocker gives you the opportunity to encrypt the whole hard drive. With the EFS support, that allows you to encrypt single files, but with BitLocker you are able to encrypt the whole hard drive. This also comes in a 64-bit version with the capability of taking up to 192 gigabytes of RAM. The final version is Windows 7 Enterprise. This is the same as Windows 7 Ultimate, but it has the capability of having a corporate license. To put simply, a corporate license is a single activation key that is able to be used on a set amount of computers which has been agreed with Windows. That's all six versions of Windows. I hope this tutorial has given you a better understanding of the different versions that are out there and hopefully now you'll be able to decide which version you are in need. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, if you'd like to go to the